In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot your Western Digital Passport external drive. This will also work for other external drives. And then a program that we're going to be looking at is specifically for Western Digital. Um, so if you don't have Western Digital, stick around. We're going to do a couple tr troubleshooting steps that can also help you out too as well. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I put out new tech videos all the time to take you from tech zero to hero. In the meantime, hit that like button. Let's try for 13 likes on this video and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and check our status of our Western Digital. And to do this, we're gonna download a free program. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up my browser here. And it's over at TechSpot, you can actually download this. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, let's go ahead and click this download button here. Okay, finished downloading. So let's go ahead and open this up. So let's go to show folder. And from here, let's go ahead and unzip it. So I'm gonna go ahead, extract all, right click, extract all. And that folder is fine for me. So let's go ahead and hit extract. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna actually run this through virus total. This is actually gonna run it through a whole bunch of virus engines and see if we get anything back. So this is a good way to check to see when you download a file, if it's a good clean file or not. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to downloads and go into my folder here and I'm gonna be running this WD drive utility setup. Let's go ahead and open. It's gonna go ahead and check the hash and it's gonna go ahead and run it against all these detection engines. So let's go ahead and check that. So we got zero out of 72. So nothing has been detected with our hash ID. What's well, the hash ID right there? So you can also copy this if you get this right here online and go back over here and go to search. You can actually paste in that hash ID and do a search. And will do the same thing too as well and it comes up with zero out of 72. Um, cool thing about virustotal.com, uh, put a link in the description below too as well. If you visit a website, if you wanna scan it to check for any kind of infections, you can do that through here too as well. Uh, but back to our tutorial. So we don't need TechSpot anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that to keep everything clean and also virus total that is done for right now. So let's go ahead and open and install the utility setup. And we wanna go ahead and click on more info and then we can go ahead and click on run anyways. So the utilities drive has a couple of different functionalities in it. It's gonna check the health, the health of our drive. But stay tuned, because if, if this does not work for you, if it doesn't show up, we can do that afterwards. And I'm gonna show you how to actually get the drives uh, connected. So let's go ahead and hit install. And then yes. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and finish here. And we're gonna go ahead and open up WD Drives Utilities. And it automatically detected my passport. And you can actually go through here and run drive status check. And that should be pretty quick. So Smart is actually checking multiple things on your hard drive, is checking the spin of it, um, and the memory of it. Everything inside the hard drive is under the Smart process. Uh, that came back as passed. Um, that can take a, just a hair bit longer if you actually have a spinning drive. Uh, let's go ahead and scan our drive for a quick uh, drive test. And this is actually gonna be checking for performance problems. If it seems like your drive is running really, really slow, you can go ahead and check for that. And if that doesn't come back with anything and you're still having issues, click on run complete drive test. This does take a lot longer. I mean, we're talking hours. Um, the quick drive test usually takes a couple minutes. Um, the cool thing about this, let's say if you want to go ahead and erase your external drive, you can click on drive erase, check this box and then hit erase drive and then we'll actually go ahead and do that. So that's the quick easy way of WD drive utilities. But let's say that you don't have a drive letter. So let's, if we go out 
to our drive here. If we go into, into this PC, we don't see our drive letter. Okay, so if you're not showing any kind of drive letter, let's check a couple more things here. So let's go ahead and go into start. We're gonna right click on start and choose run. And we're going to go ahead and use disk management, which is disk mgmt.msc. And we can see right here, this disk one, this is one terabyte of unallocated space. This is actually my hard drive. So there's, it's first of all, it's not formatted. And then it also doesn't have a drive letter. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna show you a couple different things that if you already is formatted, um, and then how to assign a drive letter, or if you have this unallocated part. So let's go ahead and right click and choose new simple volume. We're gonna hit next. I'm gonna do my full volume, because it's an external drive, unless you wanna separate them out. But let's go ahead and do the full volume. I'm automatically gonna go ahead and assign a drive letter of E, or you can select any kind of letter that you want, and hit next. And then I'm gonna go ahead and format it in the Windows NTFS for file system. I can also change the volume label if I want to. So I can actually put external drive. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check perform a quick format and hit next. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit finish. So only take a couple seconds. It's gonna go ahead and format that drive in the t to the NTFS format. And then it's gonna go ahead and assign it a letter. So now I have an external drive, which I, that's how I named it, um, to the E drive. So now it should go ahead and show up. So let's go ahead and uh, go into my folder here. And let's go into this PC. And now I see that is that's showing up into the external drive. Okay, so let's say that your drive layer isn't showing up, but it is already formatted. Warning here, don't format it if you have data on it. So if you already have data on it, it's already says NTFS right here. What you wanna do is right click, choose change drive letters and pass, hit add. We're gonna choose whatever drive letter you want. For me, it's gonna be E and hit okay. And now it should go ahead and show up in this PC for you to go ahead and use. If this worked for you, please give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon now to go protect Zero Two Hero. But in the meantime, here's a couple more videos to continue with your CTG journey.